There's so many compartments. Josh is geeking out because he found Wi-Fi on a fridge. We need an app to keep track of where in the world Jaime is traveling to next. Whenever you find the app, you let me know because I'm going to need a copy. Jaime Aveda Pro is real, featuring more rolling R's in the name and one size smaller t-shirts. So wouldn't that be like an extra small? Jaime, this is the face of Get A Flight slash Monday slash No Sleep Rivera. Yeah, I think you encapsulated it great. That's right, it is that time of the week. I'm Jaime Rivera, this is Pocket Now. Reporting from IFA and GPC, let's go through your comments for last week. And this is IFA GPC, which is happening in Huelva, Spain. And I know IFA is an event that happens in Berlin every September, but they have their global press conference happening in different parts of the world every year. This year, it's happening here. It's a beautiful place, and it's an opportunity to get to meet their partners, get to meet some of the new brands that are coming, new products that are coming, and where the trends are going. For us, it's probably one of our favorite events. For me, it's probably one of the biggest learning experiences into where the markets are going, what is selling, what is not. It helps us make a lot of educated decisions over where the channel should go as well. Let's begin with your comments. And I know this is the horrible face of jet lag, but on Monday the discussion was all about the Galaxy Note 10. I asked you about the recent leaks. We had Note 10, Note 10 Pro. I asked you what you wanted to see. We had 350 comments. For it to be named the Pro, it needs to have 12 gigs of RAM, one terabyte of base storage, 120 hertz refresh rate, and no bezels with a camera and the S Pen. Huh, I'm still debating over what a camera and the S Pen would mean. But yeah, definitely, if it's gonna be called the Pro, it should have monster specifications. But also, in addition to the S Pen, I wish that, uh, you know, after testing the Galaxy Fold, I wish that it had other elements to it to make it more useful for professionals. The Galaxy Note 10 Pro is going to have two S Pens. That's probably not going to happen, but I wish that there was support for other types of S Pens. I mean, there are rumors that Apple is working on a new variant of the Apple Pencil that's going to have different tips. I wish that Samsung did a little more of that. Note 10 Pro might just bring a bigger battery, boost clock slightly higher, more RAM and bigger display. You know, I hope that that's not the case. Huawei has been using the Pro moniker correctly. You can do more Pro things with their phones. I think that LG should do the same with their V lineup. They should call these the Pro. You can do a lot better stuff. So I'm hoping that that's not the case. Then on Tuesday, the topic was the iPhone 11. The rumors that the A13 chip is already gonna make the jump to the six nanometer chip, whether even though I believe it's gonna happen until the following year. And I asked you, I mean, what do you think about all the possibilities of everything you can pack into this chip? We had 385 comments. With such a powerful chip, they might as well risk it with a more complicated OS. Give us note-like functions. Oh my God, particularly with the iPad, I hope they finally do make it a pro. All that power and still no sign of split-screen multitasking feature. What's the use? Yeah, sadly only iPads do that even if not perfectly. Yeah, split screen, picture in picture, more integrated AI and customization. You know, I think that it's time for Apple to realize that iOS worked well in 2007 and up to a certain point, we need something more transcending now. And we're back in our hotel room because now we have to go to a gala and it's really hot here. Uh, yeah. 651 comments over the Galaxy Fold breaking. I asked you what you thought about all the events. Let's just wait and see how things unfold. I'll show myself out. <laughs> Indeed, I can't wait to get my replacement unit. They weren't supposed to peel the screen protector though. It wasn't a screen protector, so yeah, two of the cases were more like user error. I'm no engineer, but I kind of saw this coming. Same, and it's mainly because the more movable parts you have in a product, the more opportunity for failure. Then on Thursday, the topic was the iPhone 11. We hear that there are improvements to the camera, improvements to the code. I asked you if that would make you want to buy an iPhone 11. We had 399 comments. As long as there's no camera hump, I think I'll be fine with the stove looking camera setup. Oh my God, it looks horrible, but if that thing were flush, fine. More cameras on iPhones means record breaking price tags. Record breaking price tags, yes. Ugh, I, I hope not. Need a wider selfie camera, periscope at the back, actually budget friendly. I don't think those things are gonna go together, buddy. And then finally, Friday, the topic was Qualcomm and Apple, the fact that both companies had finally decided to work together. I asked you, what did you thought about the, you know, companies making up as we also saw Google and Amazon doing the same? We had 427 comments. Apple, hey Qualcomm, you charge too much for licensing. Qualcomm, we learn from the best. Apple, touche, take our money. <laughs> All right, best comment of the week.
Apple will pass the cost to their consumers, not a problem for Tim Cook at all. That is so true in today's day and age. Apple would be dead without Qualcomm. Intel is years behind, and Apple can't simply afford to be behind competitors at the moment. Indeed, and in the race for 5G, that's just where it is. Qualcomm has invested so much in this. Now that's it for the Pocket Now Daily Recap. Thank you so much for watching. If you want your comments to be featured, keep them short, stick to the point, and try to get some thumbs up. It helps us spot them a lot easier. You can also follow us on social media. Subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.